you have questions and we hopefully have answers. That's right, it's time for another Q&A with the boys. The boys! The boys! Good evening. What's your name? I'm Mark. What's your name? I am Jacob. There we go. We call him Jacob. We gotta really fix that at some point. Yeah, we do. We, we've just called him Jake since, you know, we've known him for Jake a the Snake. Time. No, you no, gotta. We, we don't say Jake the Snake. Mark the Shark? Houston the. Buston? Okay. <laughs> 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 rhymes with your name, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's right. It's time for another QA because it's been a little over a year since my last one and a lot has happened since then. I broke my arm, then I healed my arm. I filmed a lot of painful videos. I went to Japan. The channel has gained over 750,000 subscribers and Mark moved out of my house. Never forget. Why, why, what, why? It was, uh, it was a big change in our lives. It was, it was. We had a good heartfelt hug. We did, we hugged it out and it was very- I almost shed a tear. You guys stop sharing the bed together. Well, okay. It's king size to be fair. You know, hey, 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 don't space. talk about the size of my bed. They don't need to know that. Is it a water bed? Why you would I know. have a water bed? Why would I have a water bed? You should know. You are rock hard and you need to lay on something very smooth. Water's smooth? Have you touched it? I wouldn't describe it as smooth. I'd describe it as wet. I stand correct. Sit corrected. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that all was about, but last year the Q&A was mostly focused on me. So this time I wanted to open it up to the entire group, which is those two. Or the entire group. Yeah, that, that's the entire group. That's that's the squad. I'm Mark. <laughs> oh, we, they know who that's... you are. <laughs> <laughs> so I made a post on all my social medias asking for questions, not just for me, but also for Jake and Mark. If any questions aren't answered in this video, that's probably because I answered them in my previous Q&A, which you can go watch after you watch this video all the way through. Give us all the watch time and also like, share, and comment on this video so YouTube knows we're cool guys and promotes this video a lot. Right guys, we're, we're cool guys. Mm, YouTube thinks otherwise, but I think we're pretty cool. I agree, I think we're very cool people, which is why people asked us so many questions that we're gonna answer right now. What's your first question? <sighs> Let me look. This first question is from Patreon and it is directed toward me, but I want to also open that question up to you too. It's from Dylan. What is your favorite stunt that you've done in, or the one you're most proud of? For me, I think really a lot of the collab stuff I've done over the years are some of the stuff I'm most proud of just because of the amount of effort and uh, planning that has gone into them and they all end up fairly success successful, which I'm proud of. In recent memory, uh, a lot of the Kentucky ballistic stuff we've done, just cause we're working with firearms and that can be a little bit tricky with YouTube sometimes, but also those videos are just so funny. Me and Scott really bounce off each other really well, but just ultimate cool factor, like when I did the video with Chuck Liddell, cause I grew up watching Chuck Liddell and the fact that I had the opportunity to have him shoot a taser in my back. I just thought it was so cool. But that kind of same thing goes with a lot of the UFC fighters I've done collab stuff with. Very cool people. And those videos were very fun to film. Uh, I think in terms of videos we filmed here, I always go back to this one, like and kind of watch some of it is like the slingshot video, mm -hmm. the worst slingshot injury. I think that video came together really, really good. Well, that one's one of my favorites because of that cinematic intro. That's just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Houston and I put together this pitch. He was like, I want to make an intro, but I want to use this, what is it, Beethoven? Yeah, it's Beethoven. It's like, like, I want to use this song, <laughs> make it happen. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I watched a bunch of tutorials on like uh, cinematic lighting, where we use black and white for more of an effect. And that was really fun to put together. It's mm -hmm. just Tim and I, um, moving cameras and lights around for like three, four hours. Yeah, that was long. That took for what, it was like 30 <laughs> seconds, 30, 30, 45 seconds. Yeah, and we, several hours. <laughs> we of... spent several hours <laughs> trying to do that one. And it was like one of the, cause nothing was said either. That, like nothing was oh, said yeah, in no. the intro. It was a silent intro, which is all shots. Yeah, I love when we did all the cinematic stuff. That was, uh -huh. was a good time. A lot of those are fun. I think one of my favorite uh, videos was the harmonica one. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Because, you know, you just, every time you like breathe or anything, you just blew right into <laughs> yeah. it. I'm just like, it cracked me up. That was one of my favorites. And you bring like something outside of screams into it. Yeah. Like, really 
lines it. We've been brainstorming a different idea, okay. like in that same sphere. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I think Jake brought it up, a uh, bagpipe. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right, Mark, question. Go on. No, you you pick a question. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were asking me. <laughs> All right, Jake and I, what are Mark and Jake's favorite things to do while not when not preoccupied with YouTube. What's your uh, favorite things to do when not preoccupied with YouTube? My pastimes? No, right now. Like not, right now? I guess you're always preoccupied with YouTube. I'm preoccupied with YouTube <laughs> like 24 <laughs> seven. Yeah, it's like your hobbies, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, disc golf, longboarding, skimboarding, snowboarding when season's applicable. Mm -hmm. Go to a lot of music festivals. Uh, traveling when they have the ability to do so. Uh, and gaming. Oh yeah, I can't forget about gaming. Lots of boarding. True border. I do lots of border. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite hobbies uh, would be skiing, ping pong, going on walks with my dogs, uh, indoor soccer. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a simple man with simple pleasures. Simple yeah. pleasures. Another question from Patreon, uh, from Gage Bullock. Uh, this one is directed at you, Mark, but I think it's a good one for the both of you. Knowing Houston for so long, did you ever think this YouTube thing would be as big as it is and that you would play as big as part in it as you do? Um, Let's see. Well, this was, you know, seven years ago when we did the first video and it blew up. I'm like, I wonder how long this will last. Like, is this just like, a, is this a viral thing or is this going to, you know, keep on going? After we did like videos, like consecutively, I feel like it was like, you know, people like physical comedy. I like physical comedy. You know, it's similar to Jackass. I feel like this is going to be like another view of the movie jackass but you know every week in different ways and uh -huh. i feel like this was going to be something in a way cool yeah uh like the, honestly you were in the first viral video yeah uh first that really blew up the channel yeah so yeah and honestly me too though i uh wasn't sure back then if it was just like i had the the one hit wonder type yeah. of like deal and how far i could make it make it go yeah, a lot of people get those one hit wonders and uh -huh. then they like disappear off the internet. But you're yeah. still here. You're still, still here. getting hit. <laughs> yeah, still getting hit, still getting hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jake, how about you? Because uh you've known me for an equally long time since I've had the channel. Well, it was a little different. Um back then when I watched that first video of you two guys going viral, I thought it was the silliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was in college at the time and I was doing college things and I didn't think much of it. Uh, mm -hmm. so I kind of followed the background just you know, periodically checking in when something popped up or whatever. I had no idea if you guys would have uh, success or failure, failure doing what you were doing. Mm -hmm. But when I finally had the reality check that this is something I wanted to get involved in, you know, I had a lot of creative ideas that I wanted to bring into it. Obviously it took off even more, yeah, <laughs> which, was, yeah. which was cool to see. I it think uh, originally like Jake uh, kind of came on as- I was like, gonna be hitting you. Yeah, on like on screen <laughs> help and then like a little bit behind the scenes camera work in. So he did like a lot of the intros uh, for a while and stuff like that. But uh, the longer he was with us, the bigger your role kind of became. Yeah, honestly though, from my perspective, I never, uh, cause I've been doing this for a very long time. Mark, you were helping me very early on. But like Jake, you're one that I like if I when I went back, like, you know, to the start, I was like, I would have never pictured you helping me as much as you are now. Yeah. I just remember when we were lifting together uh -huh. and I would just bounce yeah. ideas off. Uh -huh. of each yeah. Other. It's, it's, it's like, ball. what if you did this? Yeah. And then I did uh -huh. this. And then I think that's how uh, shots and tequila shots came about. I go back to college and I'm like, that son of a bitch did the video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pivot a little here. There was a lot of questions about this. How do we all meet each other, know each other? We all went to school together. We all went to the same middle school, high school. Jake was a grade behind Mark and me. Mark uh, and me, honestly, our sisters were friends first. Mm -hmm. And then uh, me and Mark started playing a lot of video games together, Halo 3. Lots of Halo. Yeah, lots of Halo. That's where I was having all my LAN parties at Mark's uh, mom's house. But then Jake, Come you didn't like, <laughs> didn't like me in high school. You didn't like me. I was kind of a, I was a kind of a more <laughs> to Jake in high school, I'll be honest. That's okay. Uh, no, we just, didn't really associate in high yeah, school we didn't really talk. Um, until I came back first year from college and uh, mutual started, friend too. Yeah, yeah. Started lifting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mutual friend uh, introduced mm -hmm. us, said, Hey, we're lifting with Houston. Do you want to lift with him? And I'm like, I don't know. I haven't talked to that guy like ever. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because he beat you in wrestling? You know, we, didn't we never wrestled. Yeah. 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 No, we never we wrestled each other. Classes. Yeah. Nah, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, then we started lifting together and like, oh, okay. 
He's actually a pretty cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mellowed out a lot after high school. So that's kind of how we all got to know each other. Uh, same friend groups, uh, hang out all the time on weekends and- uh, Or not uh, just coworkers. Not just coworkers. We've known each other long before we started doing YouTube stuff. Do Mark and Jake have real jobs outside of helping Houston shoot videos? <laughs> real jobs. Real jobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark? Uh, well, you see, um, went to school at Ferris and that's why I was gone between like the beginning videos and like, you know, two, three years. Mm -hmm. I was becoming a dental hygienist. That's why I protect my hands. That's so why my career, money maker. Money makers. I always thought you were a hand model. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a hand too. model. <laughs> <laughs> Never considered it, yeah. you know? Only but, hands. <laughs> only hands. But yeah, I've been a hygienist for like uh, six years at a little community health clinic and been uh, doing this on the side for fun. Mm -hmm. um, this is my job now. Before that, I was going to school at Michigan State for packaging engineering. I was a packaging engineer for a couple of years and I didn't like that. So I went and worked for the Air Force as a program manager. I didn't like that either because I don't like corporate jobs. And now I'm doing this because this is way more fun and way more creative freedom. And this is all I do. <laughs> <laughs> How would you put that in a resume? So say you didn't do this and you have this block uh -huh. on a resume, like you're applying for another job. I don't Which think I would put it on resume. I was like, because what, what are they going to look up me and see me myself in a diaper? <laughs> like, you know? I know, but I'm thinking of the type. Professional stuntman, right? Professional stuntman. Yeah. And, and what job in the... You make it in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> that's, that's the only time that would ever come in handy. <laughs> that, Look at this guy. He's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Imagine me like applying for an office job and like, here's my resume of work. Uh, I've been kicked in the liver. I myself five times on camera. I'm good at talking. This guy's uh, going to make it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Can you sell cars? <laughs> no. <laughs> they already know what are you scared of like a fear of heights warm maces or a very angry guy <laughs> well i already said with my fears in my previous fears. video what are your two fears my like surface level fear is drowning the uh, deeper level fear uh growing old um filled with regrets not doing the things that you know that thing where you're like an old man laying in your deathbed and you're like oh i should have done this i should have done that yeah, yeah you don't want to die with a ton of regrets yeah exactly. yeah gotcha i guess my surface level fear is uh the dark <laughs> what? i'm terrified of the dark <laughs> you put me in a dark room <laughs> I'm overthinking, I'm panicking. You're scared of the dark. I don't think I ever realized that <laughs> about you. If I have my older siblings, you know, was in the dark situations, they freak me out and just like scary movies, they're always dark. And I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not about it. It's, but that's, I guess, my surface level. Mark's the type of guy that sprints to the bathroom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I sprint up the stairs and like, it's just, you know, you, you never know. You know, you you know I wondered know. why you put that weird little nightlight thing in my. I slept on it. I slept with my lights on until college and my roommate didn't want the lights on. I'm like, well, I guess I have to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> from Malcolm Carey. Oh, the I'm Malcolm Carey. The Malcolm Carey. You know, former star on Bodybuilder. Former versus. star. One video. No, two videos. Two. two. No, three. Oh, yeah. He was in a dildo video. You, well, he beat me with a dildo once. He did. He, he made you bruise real bad. Age restricted immediately. Malcolm Carey asked. Is Mark single? Asking for a friend. Am I single? Are you? No. Who's the girl that Who? appears in the videos? One time she was just in the background, walked out from the behind the house, and was like kind of shrugged and walked back. She does appear randomly. Uh huh. I believe. I believe that's Amy. That's my lovely fiance. Ah. Who I'm getting married to this summer. Hi, Amy. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> this summer. This summer. So wow, you're saying there's still a chance. There's <laughs> well, <laughs> pretty uh, pretty sealed the deal. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, see, there, you gave her the ring. It's... Yeah, you gave her the ring. So I mean, look, it's, the question is, are you still? I am fully taken. Fully taken. Damn. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This one's for all of us. What would you guys be doing if YouTube wasn't around? To be honest, I don't know what I'd be doing. I was a business major. 
Uh, so potentially I would be doing something in the business sphere that I would probably hate. Uh, but also my parents owned a martial arts studio for a long time. So maybe I would have took that over and ran that. Uh, those are the only two conceivable things I could imagine I was doing would be doing, but I'm happy that's not the case. And YouTube worked out for me because this is my dream job. And, uh, I don't think I'd be nearly as happy doing anything else. Jake? Hopefully I would be traveling around the United States in a renovated bus or van mm -hmm. and just seeing all the natural parks. Career-wise though, what would you be doing? You think you think you would be doing? I don't really know any other career that I would want to do. I mean, I guess if all else fails, you're an engineer, so. <laughs> I don't want to be yeah. an engineer. <laughs> I mean, you, you're, you, uh, yeah. That's your degree, right? Yeah. yeah. It is. Uh, I have two degrees. Two actually. degrees. <laughs> I have an engineering degree and a master's. Uh -huh. And I use neither of them. <laughs> uh, what would I be doing outside of YouTube? Uh, you already do something outside of YouTube, but. If I didn't do dental hygiene or YouTube, surprisingly, cinematography. It mm. always, it always took my curiosity. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I just never had the ambition or the confidence to do it. You know, it's a lot to take on and I'm just a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mark, if you want to switch roles for a week, I'm totally happy to teach you some camera stuff. And you know, back in the day, I used to make some good old YouTube videos. You used to make time lapses. I, <laughs> I, I made some skiing videos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my first video on YouTube was on Mark's YouTube channel, me getting waterboarded in a bathtub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You birthed the channel. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people were finding this funny. Let's do it some more. Sure, yeah. That was my first YouTube video. I know the big one. We made Sanctimonious, which was in high school film class. We, oh, you know, we, yeah. made a, we made a 10 minute comedy skit kind of based on Up, but with dark humor where we accidentally killed our friend Kyle and we were trying to find ways to hide his body so that nobody would find out. And one of the scenes we had him uh, in a in a garbage bag tied to a hundred balloons trying to float his body away. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on YouTube still? Uh, I, it might, I might have taken it down. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. I kind of want to see it now. <laughs> this question is from Chris, Christopher on YouTube. Is Mark the long lost sibling of Bradley Cooper? <laughs> well, are you Mark? You'll never know. Mark Jake, how does it feel getting to beat the shit out of your best friend for money on YouTube? Sounds like, it sounds and looks like the dream. It is the dream. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing is physical comedy. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me laugh the hardest. Mm -hmm. I've always loved jackass, so like I enjoy it, but also I'm like, ooh, this one's gonna hurt in a couple days. And I'm just like, oh, but it's really funny, but it's gonna hurt a lot. But also I, I ask for it. It's like, you do ask yeah, for it. It's not like anything, so Nothing is done without me being okay with it. Well, most of it's consensual. Yeah. Consensual. Sometimes he's like, you know, walking away and I hit him. Hit but him. even those moments in the end, I'm still happy about. That's true. I've never been like, you never like hit me unexpectedly. And then I'm just like actually mad at you. Yeah. Never, <laughs> if I saw a mad Houston, I'd be running. <laughs> I guess I haven't taken as much joy from it a couple times. Uh -huh. A couple times. It's pretty funny. Physical comedy. Humor is not go to. Yeah, it's yeah. not my go to. So it was a different niche for me to get into when we started working together. Uh, the very first video that I witnessed where you took two 40 mics to the back. Oh, yeah. I Ooh. was actually uh, concerned because it was my first time experiencing it in person. I was actually concerned that you were in real physical danger <laughs> and I was getting ready to call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Little did he know we were going to do much more worse things to me <laughs> down the road. <laughs> Spiked uh, flails, shotguns. And I was just like, so I got to become very desensitized. Yeah. <laughs> you get used to it after yeah. the first yeah. couple I got used to it. I got used to it. Then mm -hmm. when you actually inflict it yourself, you're like, all right, this isn't half bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To Mark and Jake, has there ever been an experiment that you thought Houston shouldn't do, then you turned out fine? Longest bruise. Longest bruise. Okay, yeah. That one was pretty bad when we were doing it. Just when someone pitches you the idea that they want to bruise, a continuous bruise from the top of their neckline down to their foot. <laughs> do you ever think, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a smart we should idea. Do that. we should that's a smart that. idea. We should do that. <laughs> easy, easy peasy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no yeah. problem. Let's do that. <laughs> but honestly, in like the grand scheme of the videos we've done, that one wasn't really that bad. It's very painful, but not like that bad dangerous, I guess, compared to like 
kicked in the liver. We're shooting you in the back with a yeah. mini gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's Continuously an all yeah. the way down. I feel like the most dangerous one was the most recent one with the freaking horseshoes. <laughs> yeah, Mark still has PTSD <laughs> from the horseshoes. Man, those things could have broke your shin. They could have broke your kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> I had a riot shield. That was fine. Yeah, totally. <laughs> See, and I was just on the whole different, like, for some reason, my mindset was just completely flipped on that one. I was just like trying to get the money shot, just trying to get good shots because I was like taking the Houston mindset of just like getting the good shot. I wasn't uh -huh. too concerned about the physical Dangry. endangerment. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's because like shins are just like the most cringy thing to hit. I'm just like, oh, one of my worst injuries in a while. I mean, I'm still bruised from that. They yeah. can see that. I will say the liver kick was a little concerning when we were planning out the logistics because we were planning on doing it on top of a mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we were talked out of it by several people and the off chance that your liver erupted yeah. and you would have to be let's uh, medevaced, medevaced yeah. <laughs> from the mountain. So uh -huh. <laughs> the tear gas in the tent. That's, an, e that's an easy one. Yeah. But easy. That wasn't that bad. Yeah. That wasn't bad. But it was just like, it, that was bad for me. Yeah, you got gassed. <laughs> the thing that stuck into his leg when it was like hitting him. Spiked oh, spiked like, the, like spiked the spiked flails. Flail. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, those medieval weapons, the yeah. ones with spikes and stuff. Gruesome. Always uh, a little concerning, especially when you're just losing data. <laughs> leaking data. <laughs> when you're leaking data, data yeah. profusely and you're like, hmm, that's a lot of data on the ground yeah. and everywhere. Maybe we should stop. stop. <laughs> he is losing a lot of data <laughs> and he's like no we haven't got enough data. I, there was a specific moment in that spike flail video where you hit me and i just saw like an inch gash in my leg i'm like oh god <laughs> and he didn't even hit me hard it yeah. just split me open i feel like one of the videos i'm gonna hit a vein and it's just gonna be like <laughs> just like this is it some kill bill uh, you, you kind of did that recently with the chain video you hit me in a uh, vein in my forearm yeah. and that's why i was gushing blood like it did in that <laughs> gushing data uh, Guys, sorry, data. And honestly, I still have like a little hard knot in my forearm for that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We get asked this main question quite a bit. Do Mark and I actually get paid? And to answer that question- Well, I will, I'll, I'll say this. I give them a lot of affection and appreciation for being here. And I think that's the greatest payment anyone can ever ask for. Yeah, no, but I think no, they, uh, they want to- No, hey, hey, it, hey. Let me what? finish. Can I finish? I'd like to thank you all for watching. No, uh, they want to know no, the monetary no, no, value no, no, no. that you actually- What about our, our income? Th okay. That is a monetary value. Like gross income. The gross income is the appreciation you get from me. Yeah. And I think that is invaluable. I still don't think that's enough. You know, that's for me to decide and for you to put up with. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Mark and Jake, thank you for being here. Uh, Thanks for having us. Yeah, you know what? I really appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for not charging us to be here. I, I would never do that. Uh, unless you wanted to pay me, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video and us answering questions, slap a like on the video, comment down below. Uh, maybe we'll do this every year or so. Who knows? Who, who, who knows? I don't know. Uh, but that's it. Hope you all have a good one and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Peace.